Welcome to SharePoint 2013 Asset Library. What is Asset Library? It's a visual library to see digital media artifacts. And I'm Trainer Lori. Click the Asset Library icon, and when you it says Adding Asset Library, you have to give it a name, and then Create. And now I've got the new Asset Library. Click it. It'll say that there's two default views, the thumbnails or all assets, and you also have an ellipsis. Let's add a new item and see what it looks like. So browse to find your digital media content. It may take a while, especially if it's video. It says it shouldn't take long, but a long video will take some time. And then when you open up properties, it'll ask the content type, and it may guess wrong, so make sure you choose the correctly. You also have the option, uh, you have to put in a name, that's default, and uh, you have the option to put in a title, keywords, etc. And remember, this is a thumbnail-centric view, so it wants to have a preview of the image. So if your image is already on SharePoint somewhere, then just type in the web address there, or copy and paste it there. Uh, it only allows 255 characters, so if it's off the web somewhere else, it may be too long for SharePoint. This is what the thumbnail looks like if you don't have a thumbnail. So simply click it and you'll be able to see what it looks like. And it will show your video and you simply play it to play the media. And now it changed. Notice all the uh, everything else that I had in there shows up on the right as well. So the look of it looks different now. If you can't find what you're looking for, simply do a search to find it within the media library. It doesn't always sh show them. Remember it has thumbnails, it has all assets, and sometimes just finding it is the best route to go. And then it will show all your options. And then if you think, well maybe it's not in the asset catalog, maybe it's somewhere else, you can also try searching the entire site. And the ellipsis will give you a thumbnail. And if you go into Edit Properties under the Files tab, then you can change the content type, the name, the description, the owner. You can also put some other information in. For example, do I want to show the download link or the embed link? And you can even put the names of the people that are appearing in the video so that you can uh, search for it. If you prefer, you can change the thumbnail. I didn't put a picture in, so I want to show a picture. So it'll ask, do you want to use a picture from my computer? or picture from a web address. I want it from my computer. And I browse, find the picture that I want, and upload it. And now it's going to be the uh, thumbnail. And it will show up here unless I hover over it. And then it goes into the background. And the same way before I play it, the thumbnail shows. If you like it, please click subscribe and then click like. Thanks. We'll see you next time.